Hi, this is Mark Hooper. In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create groups of content on a slide in Adobe Captivate and set the initial visibility to either be visible or hidden. This will allow us to treat multiple items as one when creating the logic to show and hide content. I have a slide ready with a few buttons, characters, and text all ready to go. And yeah, it does look crowded. I want to reveal the content in a controlled way where when you click on the button, it hides the items I don't want to see and reveals the items I do want to see. I'll show you how to do those things in another upcoming quick tip. Rather than having actions that have to list each individual item and whether it needs to show or hide, I'm going to group items into named objects, and that's going to streamline my actions. Let me temporarily hide the objects I don't want to see while I'm working here by clicking the visibility icon for each object that I don't want to see on the timeline. This is going to make it easier for me to select what I want to work on grouping. This is not how you officially hide objects though when you're publishing. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Now I'm going to select the character and caption I want to be part of the first group. So I'll select them using my mouse and the shift key to be able to select multiple items. With them selected, I'll right click and choose group. Now I can see the group has been created when I look at the properties panel. Now I'm going to rename this group to be tab one content S1. I'm using this naming convention with the S1 to correspond to the slide number. Captivate requires that every object throughout the entire presentation have a unique name. There is an eyeball option located next to the name that defaults to being visible. This is different from the one that we saw in the timeline. This is what I was saying that I was going to show you. This is the one that actually turns visibility on and off when publishing. I'm going to leave this one selected since I do want the content to be visible when I start. I'll create a new group with the next two options of character and caption and call this tab two content S1. But this time I'm going to click on the eyeball to make the content not be initially visible. And I'll do the same thing for my last character and caption with tab three content S1. And I do not want this to be visible initially either. So I'm going to click on the option to hide it. This sets me up to be able to create actions assigned to the buttons to show and hide my groups, which I'll cover in an upcoming quick tip. For more information, visit us online.